We're just jumping right into it today, okay? I just got to Whistler. I just walked into my room, and I am positively beside myself with um, the literal chalet that I am staying in for the next couple of nights. We are here with Benefit. We are celebrating a very, very new and exciting category launch with Benefit and spending the next couple days here in Whistler. And it's the entire U.S. team as well as Canada. Obviously, like it was the U.S. team's little trip and Canada got to tag along because they're coming to Canada. And when a press trip happens in Canada, it's always very, very exciting, uh, especially when it's so close to home. I didn't even have to get on a plane today, guys. I just got to drive straight out my front door and come here to Whistler. So please, like, let me show you the room. This is truly like as Canadian as it gets in the most like fabulous chalet way. I can't even believe it. We walk in the doors. We have a fabulous closet, okay? Fabulous, fabulous bathroom. Here is the very exciting new line, which we'll be talking about later from Benefit. You're perfect. I will be getting in that and I will be getting in that very soon. And then we turn right, and first of all, first of all, the fireplace. This is just, this is so gorgeous. What a gorgeous hotel room. Are you kidding me? Stocked with all of the benefit goodies. This is insane. And look at the bed. Oh my gosh, look at the bed. You guys, we have a full, full set of ski gear from Benefit. I can't believe the ski suit. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then a patio. There's a little patio with this gorgeous view of Whistler. This is one of the nicest rooms I've ever stayed in for sure. Like it's very luxe and it's so perfectly Whistler. Like the nicest little ski chalet vibe. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I just was downstairs getting here and saying hi to the team and it's so good to see everybody again and also so nice for everyone to be here in Canada, which is so fun. So yeah, we're here for the next couple of nights and Dan's actually joining me tomorrow morning. He'll be coming, but I am solo for the eve and I just got to unpack my things. I literally like rolled into the room and just wanted to show you guys, but here's my very very Whistler-esque outfit. I'm just wearing straight black. I've got my little vest on, my little pink toque. I wore my pink toque because Benefit is always all pink. I was like, I gotta wear something colorful to represent Benefit. Um, and I've got my little, my little Uggs on, these fabulous, oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite pairs of winter shoes that I own and I don't talk about enough, but it's literally like a moon boot, but it's totally waterproof. And they're also so warm, they're so warm perfect even though today is such a beautiful sunny day honestly like the weather could not be nicer here right now but we're here in Whistler and super super excited to be here um, I'm actually I'm really hungry the drive up like listen it's not the longest but it's still lunch time okay and I did pack my meal prep I packed my lunch so I'm gonna dive into this eat my lunch real quick and then I actually I just had like the whole afternoon free and I did just book in a massage. I went down to the spa and I was like, you know what? I am so sore. These like three leg days a week are absolutely killing me. My neck is killing me. I'm like, you know what? Let's just get a little spruced up for the evening. So I'm going to go treat myself, treat myself a little bit. And I booked a massage. So I thought I packed a fork. Like I literally put my meal prep in my bag and I thought I packed a fork and there's obviously no cutlery. Why is there no cutlery in here? It makes sense. There's no kitchen. There's no little kitchenette or anything. So why would there be cutlery in here? Um, so I am eating my turkey rice bowl with the ice bucket tongue. <laughs> okay, I finished my food. Taking a little stroll through this beautiful hallway to the spa. I'm so greasy too. <laughs> But we got here so early, like I literally have, I had six hours to kill. So I was like, obviously I'm gonna go hang out at the spa. I mean, I could go wander the village, but you put an opportunity for a spa in front of me and they had a cancellation and I was like, say less, say less. You guys, first of all, I'm covered in massage grease and I am <gasps> so zen, that was so magical. I feel like I just, I was like, go ham on my neck and shoulders, ma'am. She was great, that was great. And I just got back to the room. And they put little Valentine's Day cookies. So cute. I had a nap, I had a nap after 
my massage and now I need to run down to dinner. So basically the plan for tonight. The itinerary says to stay in your cozies, stay in your sweats. So I did, I stayed in my sweats, but I did put on the little benefit socks that they gave us. <laughs> and we're going for dinner and then we're going to the Scandinavian spa. Is it Scandinav or Scandinavian spa? We're going to the pools, people, so we're meant to have our bathing suits on. So bathing suits on, sweats on, going to dinner. Now the question is, I have my pink toque, which I'm gonna bring, cause it's obviously cold out now. Um, so do I wear like my same black jacket that I came in? Or Benefit gave us this <laughs> cute little Ugg pink jacket. And so I feel like I should just do the double pink for the Benefit dinner, you know? If anyone cares or remembers, this is the pink toque I bought when I was in Copenhagen last year. Are we gonna do double pink? Pink on pink? Is that cute? You can't see me at this this light. I'm so sorry about these angles. Anyway, I flipped. I put my hair in a pony because I was like, you know what? I'm absolutely gonna want this for later. I'm bringing it. But for dinner, I feel like it's rude for me to show up in a toque to dinner. So bringing it with, I've got my bathing suit. Wallet, keys, lip balm, and then they have a cute little benefit bag. So perfect. It feels wrong. It feels wrong to be going to dinner on an influencer trip like this in sweatpants. I love it. I absolutely love it. It feels so Canadian. <laughs> literally booked out the entire Scandinav spa and they have all of the new skincare products and masks in here for us to use with headbands our own little slippers and robes oh my god it's so cute Jared is doing his masking in this spa I'm deep retreating <laughs> What do you call it? I don't know what you call it in Canada. Those are chips. That was amazing. We just finished at the Scandinavian Spa and we're heading back to the hotel. I can't believe they rented the whole thing out and literally turned it into a benefit bash. They had a DJ and everything. That was wild. And then they had the stations with the masks and the moisturizer and we got to use everything. Good morning, everyone. Dan's here. <laughs> you guys get an arm. You get an arm. <laughs> oh God, you guys, the beds, the beds and the pillows. I was like, Dan, how can we steal these pillows? I'm just kidding, like we can buy, you can buy Four Seasons pillows and mattresses, but damn, it's always a, it's always a great sleep. Anyway, headed to our workout this morning. I've got my cute little Gymshark Whitney Simmons set on. I'm about to take some pre-workout and we'll be off to the races. Upper body day, check. It's a, it's a really nice gym. It's a really nice gym in there. I just donned the robe. We just ordered breakfast. It should be here soon. And I figured we could mask while we wait. So listen, obviously we got the full rundown on the new collection from Benefit. Uh, this is the professional skincare line and they made an entire line to address everything about the pores, which I think is really cute. And what I didn't know is that they launched their professional primer in 2010. The 2010 Winter Olympics were hosted in Vancouver slash also Whistler. And I thought that was really cute. And they mentioned that. And yeah, that means that professional is 13 years old. You guys know how much I love the spray, the setting spray. So there's six products here to address all things about the pores. So obviously we got to play with it last night. They like served us the platter of the products at dinner, which was so cute. And then we got to use it while we were at the spa so first of all they have a cute little silicone tool which actually this is really nice simply for even like scooping products out I don't know about you but even when my nails get long it's super annoying to have to like and gross I'm sure it's not the most hygienic but to like dip your fingers into a clay mask and it gets all in your nails and whatnot I kind of love that you just have the spatula to 
pull that out, which is great. So what I'm most excited about obviously are the two masks because honestly, like my, my main concerns with my skin is always texture. I always have a lot of like bumps and texture and whatnot. And so they have the pore professional speedy, smooth, quick smoothing pore mask. And so this is kind of like those like pre makeup, pre event, little quick five minute mask to put on three to five minute. And it smooths skin instantly and over time pores look instantly refined. Celery and flaxseed extracts help visibly improve skin texture. So Love the idea of that. Super excited to try this. This is what I'm gonna do today. But then they also came out with a clay mask. I love a good clay mask. I always have one on hand in my bathroom. Um, and I get a lot of like, my blackheads get really, really clogged up in my nose. So always love to have a good effective clay mask. So this is the Professional Deep Retreat Pore Clearing Clay Mask. The packaging is really cute. Honestly, it's a little bit like, younger it's a little bit more fun and bright but uh, i just have to say that these little tin <laughs> containers at first when i saw it i was like i don't know how i feel about that but this is actually amazing it's super light there's like no wasted packaging here it's not super heavy like some face mask bins can be so insane and heavy and so having a really lightweight little package is actually really nice for me anyway for travel concerns really cute and then this one's obviously like in the nice squeezy tube so no wasted product here which is great the other product that really i was not expecting this but this is the Get Unblocked Pore Clearing Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. I always use a cleansing oil to remove my makeup first and then I go in with my face wash. This one smells amazing. <laughs> I was not expecting the scent. How can I describe this? Does it say? Grape seed, jojoba seed, and avocado oil. Dude, I don't know what kind of frog rants they put in here. Oh my god, but it smells so good. It smells so good. So a lovely little cleansing oil. Always a necessity when removing makeup. Then they have the good cleanup pore purifying foaming cleanser, which comes out like, like a gel, like goop. And then it foams up, which is fun. And then finally there's the Titan Tone. This is the pore refining AHA PHA toning foam. Allegedly visibly tightens pores instantly, gentle and non-comodogenic. And they really emphasize like the, the gentle aspect of this because a lot of those products that contain acids, especially if you have sensitive skin can be a little bit irritating. So the, if there's one thing that Benefit does, it's thorough, thorough creation of product. And you know, oh my God, back in 2016 or 20, no, 2017, we went on a trip with Benefit to San Francisco and like got to see their offices, got to see some of the products uh, in the works, which was so cool. And they said it's been about five years putting this line together and you know, they have access to those big LVMH labs, you know what I'm saying? So Benefit doesn't do anything small, which I love. They really take their time with um, creating products. So yeah, this is toning foam. Have fun. I feel like this will be something, it says you can use morning and night, but it, I think for me, this is something that I would use in the evening. So we can try that out later tonight. Oh my gosh, and I didn't even get to the, the moisturizer, okay. Uh, okay, I'm a picky, I'm a picky gal with moisturizer. This is the Smooth Sip Lightweight Smoothing Moisturizer for Pores. It's in the same little tin as the Deep Retreat Mask, okay? So cute. I put this on last night at the spa and then I wore it as my overnight moisturizer. I'm going to wear it as my moisturizer today. I don't know how to describe this, but it's one of those moisturizers that has a really insane cooling effect on the skin. It feels so good. It looks really juicy. Let me just like show you really quick if you can see like how wet it makes your skin look it feels so good i feel like it's one of those nice moisturizers that's like the perfect skin prep where you wouldn't need a primer oh my god it feels so amazing and just yeah, that perfect like gel consistency to lay foundation on top of really beautiful was very surprised at how juicy and delightful i woke up this morning after wearing this overnight so that's the new collection let's do a little mask while we wait for breakfast i'm gonna put the speedy smooth on i'm just gonna do it all over my face and prep my skin for the adventures of the day. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot they included this cute little, this little like bunny ear headband. I was so confused last night. I'm like, why am I dumb? But you literally just like twist it around and it's like. <laughs> Wait three to five minutes or until the mask changes color. So my skin texture is kind of just like all over my face. I get uh, so much of my texture here. So I'm just literally gonna put this. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this all over. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, counting down. Thanks. I can feel it doing something already. Sorry, Dan hopped in the shower and my timer went off. I just rinsed the mask off and put the moisturizer on. And it's just like, literally, it is an instant smoothing. And the moisturizer's so nice. I think those, those are my two favorite products so far after my initial impression from the bunch. Stunning. 
Breakfast is here, looking divine and delicious at the window. <gasps> so nice. Hey guys, I'm so nervous. We're both so nervous. We're going to the bobsledding track and apparently we're going bobsledding with the Olympic team. I'm so scared, but we're on our way. <laughs> So we're about to get the orientation for the bobsled. We have to leave our bags and cameras. So going dark, guys. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> okay, we are back from our bobsled adventure. Listen, they had like GoPros and they had the benefit crew like filming. So hopefully we got some footage of our run. If we did, we'll insert it here. <laughs> So like it was literally the Olympic team taking us down. So we had Reed Watts, obviously stalked him immediately following. He was the cutest, he was so nice. And he took us down. I think, I actually don't know what the final score was, but when we finished, we were sixth. Reed, you let us down. Should've been number one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was crazy. Dan, thoughts, real quick. Like, I don't know if I'd go again, but. That you was wouldn't? Fun. That was fun. Yeah. You literally have a neck brace on, you like, you're, fists are like rattling the side and you just go so fast like you can't see anything i don't know i'm assuming the driver was the only one who actually sees where we're going because otherwise you just see the helmet in front of you but that was like one of the crazier things i think we've ever done Not really uh so now we need food honestly it feels like a workout you're good it's like 45 seconds but your whole body is like tensed and holding on and it was it was wild Okay, we finished lunch, did a quick toque change. Sorry, there's so much music playing. I'm not gonna be able to speak through this, but we're walking through the village right now and we're headed to Longhorns. And we're gonna go have an apres ski party. <laughs> Even though we didn't ski. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i look look at the state of me first of all fireplace in the room absolutely magical i am freezing i'm freezing and let me just stand in front of this for a second <gasps> i was just wetting my hair i was wetting my hair preparing to put it into a little you know slick bun because this morning we have yoga <gasps> We kind of left you hanging yesterday i realized but um they had the really cute <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to situate myself so that I can sit directly in front of the fire. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So yesterday, the party at Longhorn Saloon. What a hoot. What a riot. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. They were literally bringing up bottles of Don Julio 1942. Dan and I did participate in a sled shot. And then we were kind of, we were there at two. And then the party wrapped at five. So we actually came back and we were just chilling. Honestly, we got on the treadmill and just had to get our steps in. And then we were just having a bit of a laptop moment and taking a little resty rest uh, before today's exciting activities, which I just have to say again, the bobsledding like really takes it out of you. I don't know. It's like such an intense adrenaline rush, but it's also like hard. Like you kind of felt like you just did a workout after it. It was kind of crazy. And we were all like, mm, it's coffee time after this. Like we just needed some kind of pick me up. It was wild, but really fun day. And then this morning, um, they actually, they put this really cute, can you guys see this super cute workout fit in the room for yoga this morning which i want to keep it on but you guys i just have to say like tmi but listen your girl's got flippity flappity libity labbities <laughs> and i don't normally wear underwear with my workout leggings i know that's a big controversial statement it's really 50 50 there but i was like oh my god like the, the labia is living in these pants like i have to put my thong on so first of all on the back you can like totally see the underwear maybe it's not showing up in the camera but listen like i don't know if i can wear this like i'm gonna be at yoga just like <laughs> hello 
I don't really know what to do because it's so cute. And if everyone's wearing it, then we're obviously all going to be matching, which is fun. And they're like taking photos and video and whatnot. So that's cute. But I'm like, what would you do? What would you do in this situation if your labia was hailing free? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So currently just trying to decide what to do about that. But having a coffee, Dan actually went to the gym. He's not going to do the yoga. So he went to the gym and I'm just having a coffee before I head down. And it's snowing. It's snowing a lot. Like the snow plow is literally going through the roads right now. Um, so I don't know what that looks like because our we have a very fun activity today. And we were supposed to be going helicoptering, like going to a glacier on a helicopter that's wild but like it's really really like dark heavy snowfall right now so I'm not sure what that looks like it's a very beautiful wintry morning in Whistler nonetheless sorry I keep holding this and going to sip and then I keep reminding myself how hot it is Nine. <laughs> Dan ordered us breakfast it looks so good the sourdough bread here is absolutely divine their avocado I don't know what it is. I don't know if they put something on it or what, but I don't normally like avocado. I normally eat it like with things. Like I need like a runny yolk or something on bread to eat the avocado, but this one is like, it's like the fruit of the earth. It tastes so good. <laughs> Yoga was lovely. It was just like a sweet little stretch, sweet little flow. Jared's amazing. We have been lucky enough to do many a, many a yoga with Jared. So that was very nice, very nice. I feel zen. Okay, so update, because of the snow, we figured the helicopters are grounded, so um, they gave us a couple of extra options, and now we're going snowmobiling! Oh my god, I, I've actually... Oh, sorry, I have to sneeze. I just put off the pepper. <laughs> I have done the snowmobiling once before here. Honestly, guys, snowmobiling is one of my favorite winter activities. I'm actually really excited. Because I'd rather, like, go snowmobiling and do an activity than not be able to see anything. So I think obviously for safety it's good that they did that but we are our helicopter was at 12 15 now the snowmobiling is at 10 15 so we literally have like 20 minutes to eat so um gotta go and then we'll go snowmobiling yay so we've made it to the mountain so so beautiful up here look at the snow and we are gonna go on our snowmobiling adventure also this suit is so great this is so cute We made it to the lake. Oh, Guys, we're on a frozen lake. You can't, it's not cold enough you know, what, you know for the sleds is. to come on here. But look at this. We are in the mountains, baby. No, I think. Listen, y'all. Listen, we got back from snowmobiling, mucked up a burger, and I don't know what happened, but I forgot to pack my lip liner. So. I ran and bought uh, a lip liner, not realizing that it was the NYX. I thought they didn't have like my nude beige pencil, okay? They had other colors, but I didn't even realize because it looks the same when it's in like the plastic wrapping. I didn't realize that this was the suede matte lip liner. And I was like, oh no, is it gonna be like crazy matte? So I was just putting it on and testing it, but I think the color is okay. The color is sandstorm. So needed to get that because tonight is the little finale party, which is very sad, sad for this sweet little trip to be coming to a close, but uh, it's metallic theme. And listen, let me just tell you guys, sorry, I'm just like going on a stroll right now. <laughs> I got the metallic theme, like the dress code, approximately three business days prior to departing on this trip. And when I tell you that I was in a panic, frantic, because if you guys remember the last benefit trip we were on and my scramble trying to find a pink outfit for the pink party, never ended up finding a pink outfit, okay? I wore a green dress and walked into the pink themed party and I was like, I can never again do this. I can never again be, listen, I didn't have to go completely opposite. Like I should have just worn white or something, but I had what I had, okay? And this time I was determined to be on theme and I ordered like Canada shipping. Shipping to Canada is brutal on a good day. Um, the only, like, there's only a few sites that kind of guarantee shipping and honestly, like, Revolve and Forward have the best. They literally have, like, one day shipping to Canada and it never misses. It's never late. So I made a huge order. I just was, like, metallic, shiny, sparkly, give me all the things. Nothing fit. Everything was kind of crazy. It was also, like, really expensive. And I was like, this is just ridiculous. So the Monday night before we left, Dan and I ran, ran downtown and we were trying to find outfits. 
I ended up finding, even though I literally just got like an A Goldie double denim suit, they had a denim suit, but it was like painted silver. Super expensive, like absolutely ridiculously price for like a shiny metal thing that I may or may not ever wear again. But I was like, listen, des desperate times call for um, desperate spending apparently. So I did end up finding a metallic suit, but I, we're gonna have to decide what we're wearing with it here. But I did get a fit, so disaster averted. And uh, now I gotta get ready. So I'm gonna, you know, I don't know how long this vlog is at this point, but I'm gonna deal with this hair that's been, <laughs> this is some Cindy Lou <laughs> I'm gonna go shower and get ready and we'll see you later when we head to the party. Okay. <laughs> Ready. I'm in my Tin Man suit. <laughs> Honestly, like the jeans didn't fit. They're super, super like bunchy and crotchy, which I think is not gonna go well in photos. So I'm just gonna do this in every photo. It's gonna be a back view and that's gonna be it. Uh, but this is, the, this is the outfit. My hair was doing a life of its own. Oh my word. And uh, I did my same makeup. You guys know what's up. I've got the Hindash eyeshadow palette and the Shiseido or a Dew on top. Chantecai Patience Lip Chic. And yeah, that's the look. Let's head to the finale metallic party. Good morning, all. I need to show you the view right now. It's literally, someone actually said it perfectly. It was like, I feel like we're in a snow globe. 100%, this is like, if this was a Christmas morning, this is a winter wonderland. Look at the view right now. If I wasn't such a little bitch in the cold, we could have sat out there and had breakfast. But, but alas, absolutely not. It looks fake. It's truly so beautiful. So beautiful. Anyway, it's our last morning. We're leaving, just packing up, saying goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful hotel room. We said bye to the benefit team last night because some of them, oh my God, you guys, some of them had to leave at 3.30 a.m. Some had 4.45 a.m. pickups. We're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But I hope everyone's drive to the airport went well. But yeah, we said our goodbyes to everybody last night. And oh my God, I love the benefit team. Everyone's so nice. Truly like some of the happiest, most lovely people that we've ever uh, had the pleasure of being around so it was so fun um we didn't stay out too late we had a couple drinks like they were just really rocking the rocking the shots we had one celebratory shot with everybody and then we had two two peach margaritas because they were so good but like i said like before we haven't been drinking a lot at all and i definitely am feeling it this morning so need to get home and get back <laughs> get back to our meal prep we also need a coffee but we need to go get down and get a coffee and then we're gonna drive home that's the day i'm sorry are we witnessing this view together this is the most beautiful drive i think we've ever done <laughs> it's fake it looks fake it's so stunning Made it home. Mm -hmm.